One of my Nakiro and Dakaito. Sure, who knows what day? No day. My name is Gwen. I'm the founder of Alive Albinism Initiative, a trust which is registered here in Zimbabwe. Our vision is to see a world where an individual is not discriminated because of the albinism condition. And we hope to see a world, you know, where people do not discriminate people with albinism. Gruesome violations, killings and attacks against persons with albinism, including children, women, persons with disabilities and the elderly remain a deep concern. I'm not afraid, I'm not intimidated, I always stand for myself. I have a comedian, I, I don't feel offended if I talk about our beautiful. It's, it's the same thing. They are white, no, they are black, no, they are in between. So, you get what I'm saying? So, I only take them as, as normal people. But we hate it when we hear that people in, in you know, that's where you see the evilness of black people. Black people are hunting our beautiful. In, in countries like Senegal, countries like Kenya, they think they have got juju, but they're just as normal as us. So, in Angwa, our Binon Rumbachora is normal people. Sandi ninda kajida, andi siri ninda kajisaruza, kusor gunda kada yeye, sama simba wana siwa wa iswa kadaru, sunshine, mirandu sitawuri. Um, musically, you no need to understand it. But all the same, I'm trying my best through my music. But in this situation, but Chagangu Fanana, in Gori Ganda, but we are we are one. Um, as an a person living with albinism, I just want to say I'm very proud of myself. Like basically, um. Last year, when I um, produced my first article of just, as just a teenage girl, uh, it emphasizes on um, how I am proud to be myself, that I am what I am, and I have no sympathy wish to be anyone else. And it motivated many albinism that um, they have to be proud of themselves. White yet black, I am and I stand to be a symbol of curses to my African people. A ghost, a pig, a white man without a farm. A product of halitary that makes it all contradictory, just pondering about it silently. But I'm just simply white yet black. Listen up, you African minds and even the Caucasians give an ear. It's just a genetic condition, nothing else. Skin white, hair yellow, a sculpture stolen from heaven. Leonardo da Vinci perfection. White yet black, but I'm persecuted like the Messiah, segregated like blind Bartimaeus, ignored and abandoned in the pitch darkness, imprisoned psychologically, murdered practically, ridiculed theoretically. Now what does that add up to mathematically? I'm just white yet black, a blessing to the world, a symbol of God's glory, a radiation of paradise, white yet black. I am a student at the University of Zimbabwe studying law. Uh, I am a spoken word artist. Um, I have won the House of Hunger Poetry Slam competition a record uh, five times. And I, growing up uh, as a person living with albinism in the streets, uh, was not very much uh, a rosy path. You know, people would jeer at you, people would say, oh, man of words at you, hey, so, uh, you ghost, you pig. So I decided to. I restrained myself more in the house, you know, reading books. So I got more interested in books. And at school, I started shining because uh, I was good and I was good in school. And I, I was, I was made senior prefect. I, I joined junior parliament. I was a parliamentarian, and I went on to university. And I studied poetry when I was in high school. So then I was introduced to the House of Hunger Poetry Slam. And I got to engage with other artists, uh, such as Derek Mpofu. We did a song called White Yet Black. So I'm using poetry as a weapon to show the world that people living with albinism are people who, ha who are very much talented. Uh, if you just give them an opportunity, you know, uh, we're talking about disability has moved from uh, a medical perspective, whereby we are seen as people who are suffering, people who, are, who need help to a social perspective whereby we're seen as people with rights. So I use poetry to advocate for the rights of people living with disabilities, people living with albinism, 
and I hope to change the world. And where am I? What am I? Where is my future? Where is my hope? Life is a puzzle just because I am an albino. In the mother's womb, I enjoyed living like any other womb protected baby. I enjoyed the womb, I enjoyed the security. But Jeff was said it when I was delivered just because I am an albino. Um, I'm a I'm a white man with a black identity. I am a white man with black identity. I'm a white man with a black identity. And I'm a white man with a black identity. <laughs>